had to move out of um, our production workshops, which were right bang in the middle of the Olympic Village. The vision was that there in Surak, which prides itself on making things, you could have something uh, at High House Farm that would be a world centre for producing uh, state-of-the-art productions for uh, opera and ballet and for training in theatre and also music events. All of our art forms, so from dance to music to opera to singing to backstage design, costume, we wanted to show all of these things, but we wanted to involve the local community as much as possible. Thurrock Council um, has devised the programme of Trailblazers with the Royal Opera House uh, in order to enhance the cultural entitlement of children and young people in Thurrock. When you're like in the Royal Opera House, you start learning how like, all the other schools learn. But in the classroom, it's just us. So it's, it's completely different. <laughs> It's a great thing where you bring people together and you can express yourself in so many different ways. It makes you feel as if you're part of something that's much bigger and you get this huge feeling of excitement and enlightenment from it. The Chorus are a really amazing and, and very special community. It feels like a family. I mean, literally there are fathers and sons and husbands and wives in the Chorus, as well as people who've never met each other but now have really formed a great bond. I enjoy the challenge. It takes me to places that I don't think I can go to and somehow I end up there. <laughs> and I enjoy the opportunity of working with committed professionals. Art and culture is extremely important to celebrate because it's basically bringing us together through creativity. So you see different types of people but we can all mix. It brings people together really well. We've had letters saying, this has changed my life, and I think that's you know, particularly special. I think it's amazing that this is local to Grays. It's incredible. Yeah.